Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. My name is Tony Torrance. We're going to tie a uh, variation of a green butt skunk this morning. I um, already got my hook in the vise. It's a uh, Alec Jackson steelhead iron. Running a little Vivas thread here this morning. Let's we'll start with a little tag here. Silver Lagerton, medium flat. Get this tied right up here. So next we're going to tie in uh, some golden pheasant dyed red and we'll just start by getting that snugged in here with a few wraps and then we'll adjust the length to get it about right and I'm always guilty of making these too long and I think I'm going to go with that and it look too bad. This stuff glows like a beacon in the water, and I never understood why the Atlantic salmon guys used it, but I do now because it's, um, when that fish comes up behind it, he certainly is going to see it. Next, we've got some uh, Lagerton fluorescent chartreuse mini flat braid. Product's been out a couple years, been uh, tying with it, and really like it. Another one that stands out in the water. And then, Lagerton embossed medium flat. Tying that on the back side here. Good material clips, always handy when you've got tinsels hanging out everywhere. And then, uh, Uni yarn. This stuff I just started working with a little bit. I've never been much of a yarn guy, but uh, in the summer some of these slender bodies and stuff has been uh, really nice to have. A little lower profile. I'm going to tie it in up here and wrap it back because the stuff is very thin and I'm going to want to build this body up a little bit so it matches the um, thickness of that butt. Don't uh, be afraid to get a little longer piece and to tie with that you think you might need. Better to be long than short on these uh, on your yarn. Bring my rib around. had enough coffee this morning. Things are jumping all over there. All right, so we got our body done. Next, um, I've got a hackle prepped. This is a uh, hairline strung Chinese saddle hackle in black. Tie that so that the hackle is cupped towards the hook. We're going to tie this collar style, and I think I've said this before. Stroke back this material as you come around so it kind of lays back. And again, I probably should have a little less hackle, but I over hackle my flies probably more than most guys. And it ends up obscuring the body a little bit, but. Then that is really something to consider for summertime. You know, you're trying to get these flies down, and that's the reason we tie these slender bodies and uh, use these steelhead iron hooks. They're a heavy hook, weight, dry lines, um, poly leaders, or light tips to get them down. So I got my uh, Arctic fox tail. The key with this stuff is to stack, stack, stack and get the under hairs out, really comb them out. Get the length here on this. Loose wrap, snug it down a couple wraps there and then really get her set. You do not want this wing slipping out on you. So, 
and this is the part that a lot of guys struggle with you want to take your material get it in your scissors there and trim it close as close as you can get it right but then you take your cautery tool and clean it up and you'll keep that head fairly small and using this these um, got my thread a little bit um, using these finer fly tying threads that have a lot more strength to them you will end up getting a much smaller head on your fly. Now you see how many wraps I'm putting on here. If I was using a larger thread that head would be enormous. So we'll put a little whip finish on that and we'll be done.